The first example is going to be an initial condition where if you flow it by heat flow, it will stabilize and the mean curvature flow under that initial condition will also stabilize but at a different height. Uh, the initial graph U0 will look like the picture and the picture is when n equals 2. We place tall spikes of volume 1 on the Zn. By volume, I mean that the volume under each of the spikes you see is 1. And uh, the result of Eidelman Ratnikov, it tells me that if I have a limit as t goes to infinity for the heat flow, it will converge to the average over bigger and bigger ball. So if you take at any point and take the average over bigger and bigger ball, the average is going to be 1. So the heat flow, because the, large, the average over larger balls tend to 1, the heat flow, uh, the solution to the heat flow V, will converge to the constant 1. To know what the mean curvature flow does, uh, we're going to take a little detour and we call a useful fact. The useful fact is there are self-shrinking donuts. Um, that's the title of the article. These donuts have been proven to exist by uh, Argument. So we choose a scale version of those self-shrinking donuts so that there are in a ball of radius strictly less than one half. And uh, the height I denoted by delta naught is going to be very small and in fact you can take delta naught, L naught and R naught tiny, really, really small. The important fact is that R0 is less than one half. You will see in the next picture why. So that's a cross section of T0 and we will denote its extension time T star. So recall our initial graph and to prove what happened with the mean curvature flow, think about putting a donut around each of the spike. So this is why we needed r less than one half. So we didn't want the, the donut to teach to, sorry, we didn't want a donut to touch its neighboring donut. And we call also the maximum principle. It says that two surfaces in evolving by mean curvature flow, if they are disjoint, they will remain disjoint under the mean curvature flow. So as we evolve this picture, the donut will become extinct at time t naught. And so it will so the donut shrinks, staying the donut smaller and smaller to a point. So before it becomes extinct, the spike that was inside the hole of the donut would have to come down fast enough. And let me see what the next slide is. And the mean curvature flow u is going to be less or equal than delta naught as t is greater or equal than t star. This is exactly what I just explained. So again, if the donut would become extinct at time t naught, so before the donut becomes extinct, the spike has to come all the way down through the hole before the donut becomes extinct. So what about delta naught? Um, let's go back. Delta naught is the height, the thickness of the donut. And so because it was flat, you could put the thickness of the donut at height delta naught. And when it becomes extinct, the point will sit at delta naught. And so we have that the mean curvature flow is going to be the 
solution of the mean curvature flow is going to be less or equal to delta naught for t greater or equal than t naught. Um, this is a picture from above. Think about all the donuts in dark blue. The spike goes through the light blue and because of now we know that the mean curvature flow, the solution to the mean curvature flow u is less or equal than delta naught and we can also conclude that with interior estimate of Ecker-Husken, if you can bound the position and the first derivative, you can bound higher derivative and the limit as t goes to infinity of u is going to be a constant. Now it's going to be a constant less so I call than delta naught. So the mean curvature flow stabilizes at delta naught, which could be arbitrarily small depending on how thin you take your spike and the heat flow stabilizes at 1. So that's the, next, the first example where the heat flow and the mean curvature flow have different behavior at infinity. Now you can say well they both stabilize so it's sort of the same behavior. In the next example we will see an, a case where the mean curvature flow oscillates and the heat flow stabilizes.